Good evening and welcome to Arte Fuse here in Chelsea on another Thursday art night. We are here at Kim Foster Gallery and we are here at the opening for Antonio Petraca. This is sort of new for me. I'm primarily a painter and I do have a couple paintings in the exhibition. Uh, but this exhibition, um, I was I decided to go photographic because I this has more content uh, in it that that's deals with, um, if you want to s call it signs and symbols, basically there's a lot of unspoken um, language in it that that it's codified. And it, while it might look like a pretty picture, there's a lot of codification in it, which photographically has helped me to do, to do this. So it's a new direction for me. Awesome. So uh, as they say, like doing photography, like back then uh, you used to paint portraits and like this is just a new evolution on what you're doing. I, in fact, I am from Rochester, New York originally, which is Image City, it's Kodak and Xerox. And so I grew up with photography around me and I've always been, uh, uh, I went to RIT in Rochester, which is the world's largest photographic school. And uh, I, so it's a second nature to me, and I, I don't see photography as a, as an art form. It, I see it more as a vehicle, like a brush. Is it one location, or which location are most of the photographs taken from? Well, basically, in this exhibition, I call it Mezzogiorno, which uh, literally in Italian means midday. And uh, because this is southern Italy, um, these pictures depict different parts of southern Italy. Uh, many of the parts are very ancient. Uh, way, um, so, uh, most of it is from Apulia, which is, uh, if you look on the map of Italy, you'll see uh, the uh, a heel. The boot. Yeah. The boot. <laughs> no, not the boot, but this is the, the heel, heel of, the, of the boot, which is its own. It's a peninsula in itself. It's a peninsula on a peninsula. So it is, it is in a way isolated, and it's, it's got... It's got thousands of years of history. And one of the reasons why I'm interested in this topic is because I'm an Italian-American from Sicily. My father was born in Sicily. And I, uh, being a, an American of Italian extraction, there's a lot of uh, misunderstanding or misinterpretations of our culture in America. Um, a good example would be uh, the Sopranos, uh, Stereotypes. Uh, stereotypes. And uh, these are, believe it or not, there's a lot of, uh, I deal with a lot of this stereotype in this work, like I have my other work. But it's harder to, it's, it's not in your face. I don't want to scare anybody away. But I am dealing with the issue here in this work. Uh, for example, you have this beautiful um, ancient scenery, edge of an ancient town, and then you have this individual slouching over this railing, this this stone railing that's been there for centuries, he's a he's obviously he he's either drunk or he's sleeping or he's taking a picture. He's uh, like being a tourist and he's taking a picture. He's got him he's got his body down, he's going like this, like I've done this myself. So the question is, who what is he? But he does fit into maybe if you see this you might think uh, he's He's taking a nap. It's midday, he's an Italian, you know, that. But in reality, who takes a nap on a ledge yeah. in midday? So it's that question. So I'm dealing with many different levels of interpretation in this work. Um, but the, you can also love it because it's a beautiful, they're beautiful as well. That's, that's the, the choice of the person. In fact, um, I'm more interested in questions than answers. I've always, I feel that's a better for me, it's more relevant to, to um, I don't think people need answers. They, they have their own answers. I, I'd rather give them questions and let them think about it for themselves, you know, what, they, what their response, what they feel, what they get out of it. But I do try to set it up so there are questions there for them to think about. So thank you very much, Antonio, for like raising more questions and definitely that's the function of art you know raise more questions and we wish you luck and hope to see more of your work in the future i really appreciate it